for making this project, you will need this 84 by 48 pixel LCD module adapter, also known as Nokia 5110 display with blue backlight and cost $2 from eBay. Next you will need DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor that on eBay you can find it for just $1. An Arduino Nano board, which is brain for this project. As I mentioned, to make this project, you will need only three modules: the Arduino Nano board, the DHT11 sensor, and Nokia LCD display. And I got this cute metal box to put everything inside. First, we gonna connect the LCD display with the Arduino board based on this diagram that I'm showing right now. Seven wires are needed to be soldered between LCD and Arduino board. After soldering all 7 wires, don't forget to shortcut the jumper on LCD display, it's for LED backlight. Next is to solder wires to DHT11 sensor and connect to Arduino board to digital pin 11. Everything is wired up and ready to be placed in our project box. But first we need to make some holes for LCD display, the sensor and mini USB connector. In link below you will find the original video of this project and thanks to Arduino Lab for sharing the source code. My digital temperature and humidity meter is finished and let's power up and see how it works. As you can see with big numbers it show at left side the actual temperature and on right side of display it show the humidity. Do you remember of this toy called Tamagotchi? A handheld digital pad. Yeah, that was awesome toy back in time. But today I'm gonna show you how you can build it with Arduino board. For making this gadget you will need these parts. LiPo battery charger model with micro USB connector. And small LiPo battery is attached on model and remember to replace the resistor for lower charging current if you don't want to damage the battery. 3 micro tuck switches, you can buy them new or like mine who are pulled out from junk parts. Next you will need passive buzzer, that means without oscillator. This is OLED display, organic light emitting diode. It's 128 by 64 pixels and all parts I have purchased from eBay and in description below I will add all links. And of course you will need smallest Arduino board called Arduino Nano with USB interface. All parts will be placed in this plastic case from earbuds that I found in my junk. First I'm gonna make some cuts for display and tuck switches. Now I'm placing all parts and securing with hot glue gun. Now 
Must be mentioned the author of this project is Alois Jacob, who came up with this gadget, Tamaguino Dino Virtual Pad and sharing this awesome project, by the way in link below I will add his website with all details, schematic and libraries that need to be installed. As you can see all wires are soldered between modules and my Dino pad is finished. Let's power up and see how you can play with this digital pad. It have a lot of functions such as you can feed the Dino with stack or apple, even drink water. You can play a game with Dino, take it to the sleep, it have a doctor when it's feeling bad and tell how it all it is. I hope you liked today's video, if so, please share and like, take a moment, visit my channel and subscribe. In this video, I'm gonna build simple LED game, call it Simon Says. For making you will need these parts, prototype universal PCB board, 4 tucked switches and 4 color LEDs, piezoelectric buzzer without oscillator, 4 resistor, value can be from 200 to 500 ohms for 5 volts power supply, pin headers and brain for this gadget is Arduino Nano board. First I'm gonna place the tuck switches and LEDs, the schematic and source code you can download from link below. Next I'm placing female pin headers for Arduino Nano and piezoelectric buzzer. On Arduino Nano I'm gonna solder male pin headers, so later I'm gonna join with my prototype boards. Next is to solder resistor for each LED. With this isolated thin copper wire, I'm gonna make the connections from Arduino board to all components. Next is to program the Arduino with the sketch code that you can download from link below. Our LED game Simon Says is finished and Arduino Nano is programmed. Let's join them together and play.
I'm gonna use this ribbon cable and attach all components on it, first opening a hole for our small and very fragile screen. And to mention that this OLED screen work on 3 volts, if you planning to use this. After soldering the screen to the ribbon cable, on other side we gonna attach the Arduino Nano board that have Atmega chip. I have this small size lithium ion battery and on it I have glue charger module which is USB powered if you use this charger board it's nice to replace the current resistor because by default is set to charge the battery with 1 amp and that is huge. I have solder, 10 kilo ohms so we can charge the battery with low current, which is best way for longer life of battery. To explain the circuit for powering this gadget, of course you need battery and charger. From here goes to the main switch, which power up the Arduino Nano and OLED screen. With two strong neodymium magnets, we are gonna make the lock system for our wrist gadget. Hardware is finished, now you can upload the sketch code that you can download from the link below and yes you can change the text by your desire. You will wonder what is the purpose of this, for me this is like task reminder and every time you look at your hand you will know what to do. That's it for today, thanks for watching, leave a like, subscribe for more videos.